Hey, and welcome back. As a musician who spends a fair amount of time recording audio and editing video, it's safe to say that I'm relying on good monitoring in order to create high quality sounding content. But aside from the standard application, I also use my studio monitors on a daily basis when I'm listening to songs in order to write charts to prepare for a gig, or when I'm teaching my private lessons and need to play back music or a metronome for my students. There's certainly plenty of options out there, and you could easily spend thousands of dollars on a set of monitors with a great level of detail and clarity, but in my opinion, it's more important to find a set that you know and understand so that you can create great mixes to be heard on any sort of listening device. I've been looking to add a second set of monitors in the studio right next to my drum set, and since I've had such a great experience with these Presonus Aeris speakers at my desk for mixing, I knew this would be a great choice in the studio, and a sound that I'm already very familiar with. Before we get too far along, let me tell you a little bit about the sponsor of today's video, Sweetwater. Sweetwater is the largest online retailer of musical instruments and pro audio equipment in the United States, and they pride themselves on always having the best prices, availability, and of course, their world-class customer service. I've personally relied on Sweetwater regularly for well over 10 years, and I can't recommend them enough. Whether you're looking for small accessories like sticks and heads, or full kits and instruments, I hope you'll consider shopping with Sweetwater and using my links below to let them know I sent you their way. Like I mentioned before, I own pretty much this exact set of monitors that currently live at my desk where I do most of my work. They sound great, but more importantly, it's a sound that's become very familiar to me and allows me to create mixes that I know will translate into other listening environments like a phone, a car stereo, headphones, or any other speaker. When it comes to price, they are certainly a budget option, coming in at $100 for their 3.5 inch model and $150 for the same speaker with Bluetooth connectivity. For this pair I picked up here, I decided having Bluetooth would be a huge lifesaver so I can easily connect to a device like my phone without the need for those annoying dongle adapters that never seem to work right. It's a nice convenience that Personas added in the second generation of this Aeris line, and honestly, it was a huge factor in me deciding to get this specific set. When I'm teaching lessons, I like to have my laptop with me, but on those days when I don't have it handy, or a student wants to play me a recording or video off their phone, it's nice to be able to easily connect via Bluetooth and save time from sending files to my computer. I noticed a high frequency hiss that played any time I had audio streaming via Bluetooth, and as I looked online, I saw others sharing the same issue, so my guess is the Bluetooth receiver in this speaker really can't maintain the same audio quality as when it's plugged in. If I'm being honest, this was a letdown as I was excited to have Bluetooth abilities here next to my drums, but in the end, at least these speakers do sound great when I have them plugged directly in. As you might expect, there are some limitations with a 3.5 inch woofer when it comes to low end, but if this specific model doesn't suit your needs, Presonus offers a variety of different size speakers in this lineup, along with matching subwoofers, so I'm sure you can find a monitoring solution that would work for any room or application. Although I don't see myself doing too much mixing with this set of monitors next to my drums, it's nice that the sound is familiar and I have the ability to dial in that sound with the high and low acoustic tuning knobs on the back. I know for some of you out there just getting into recording yourself, the concept of spending hundreds or thousands of dollars on a good set of monitors can be really intimidating, so I think this could be a great option to get started with, as it keeps your investment really manageable. I'm a firm believer in the you get what you pay for sentiment, and even despite the lack of audio quality over Bluetooth here, I still think these speakers punch above their weight class, and I've never had any issues with my other Presonus speakers or any other Presonus products I've used over the last 15 years. If I could do it all over again, I might just settle for the variation of this speaker without Bluetooth connectivity built in it and use that savings to invest in a higher quality Bluetooth receiver. But again, I'm very happy with how these speakers sound and I'm certainly excited to have them still. There's a ton of great content about this line of speakers from both Presonus and Sweetwater. So if you're looking to learn more about these from a technical perspective, I'd encourage you to check those out. If you're interested in picking up a pair of these for yourself, I'll have some affiliate links to Sweetwater down below, which is a great way to support my channel and the work I do without any extra cost added to you. If you found my video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel to stay up to date on all of my future video releases. 
And until next time, thanks. Thank you.